Hey everyone, Jason here from 1Password. We are in the final days of the 1Password Hackathon hosted by Hashnode, but it's not too late to get started. To give you insights on how easy it is to get going with your projects, here's Joe Kim, who's going to walk through his two submissions for the hackathon. Hey, uh, I'm Joe Kim. I'm a front-end engineer with a focus on uh, React and Next.js. Um, I'm also a recent graduate from my master's in computer science uh, at California State University, East Bay. Um, I have two wonderful submissions uh, for the 1Password Hashnode Hackathon. Uh, the first one is called Settler. Uh, Settler is an intu intuitive UI application, uh, which is built on top of Next.js and TypeScript. Uh, it uses Passage uh, for passkey authentication um, and uh, I, to persist use information. Uh, I've integrated Passage, passage with uh, Superbase. Uh, passage uh, uh, literally took me a minutes to get set up to integrate it with Settler. Uh, I would definitely uh, recommend that you guys give it a try. Um, besides that, I also have another submission for the 1Password shell plugin. Uh, this is an open source contribution. Um, being a beginner to Go, uh, I found that the templates that were generated uh, based off of 1Password's uh, uh, shell plugin docu documentation was uh, greatly helpful. Uh, this literally took me uh, less than two hours uh, to get it set up. Uh, being a heavy user of Atlas CLI, I believe uh, I, I chose Atlas uh, to fit my daily needs and integration with 1Password has been seamless. Um, so I would recommend uh, you guys to give uh, a try for both shell plugins and Passage. Um, I also have written an article on Hashnode, uh, which, might be of useful to, which might be of use to you. So uh, please let me know.